Danielle Ryman and I would like to introduce you to the way of using aromatherapy. In this conservatory in the Barbican Art and Conference Centre, we are surrounded by an array of flowers, plants and trees which we are using in aromatherapy, so it's very appropriate to be here. In the Blue Pacific feature, I will demonstrate how those aromatic substances can be used to your benefit in your acting modern living. Man has always used his sense of smell, and modern aromatherapy draws many ideas from the past. Since time immemorial, people of every culture have enjoyed perfumes. Japanese women bathed in aromatic waters. Arabic society had chemists skilled in perfume distillation. However, aromatherapy as we know it, using essential oils, was born in ancient Egypt. Records dating back to 4,500 BC tell of perfumed oils, scented barks, resins and spices, as well as aromatic vinegars, wines and beer. So prized was essential oil, it would be offered to gods in religious ceremonies. The use of essential oil, the idea of using aromatic substances, originated in ancient Egypt. I mean, to my knowledge, that it was a way of life for the ancient Egyptian. Um, for instance, take the Queen Achesput in the 17th dynasty. She was a pharaoh, one woman pharaoh. And she brought into Egypt, from China as well, a lot of ingredients like osmanthus and plants which we still use now. She was using in ritual, in religious ritual, and for curing ailments because she had a very bad leg. So she used to put the ointment on her legs to make it easier for her to walk. So we have all this recorded in, on stella and papyri. The first thing you do when you see a flower, you want to put it in near your nose. So aroma has a very great importance and it contains 80% of plants we have around us. Aroma we distill and we extract from the plant and we obtain an essential oil. In today's highly developed world, our sense of smell is finding a new benefit. The latest essential oil application is for international travellers. In-flight fragrance have been developed to help time zone adjustment. How did Danielle Ryman become involved? I have a practice in London where people came to me and said, I suffer a lot of jet lag when I travel so much. Can you help me? And with my marketing direc uh, director, who is um, an aviation medical specialist, we decided to work on certain formulation. And um, for eight years we worked, it's been tested, we had blind tests done by pilots, by airlines, and we found these products were the most easy to use and the most important because they use only natural plants. So it's not going to affect any kind of other treatment you're doing. Well, the in-flight products has a very important purpose, as it's going to help passenger to feel better when they arrive at their destination. For instance, when you arrive after a long flight, you feel very tired and you need maybe to go to a meeting or to, a, to sign a contract, where you will feel you need to be alert. So you will use the awake solution by rubbing it to your hand and inhaling the fumes or having it to a bath or having it into shower. So there's three ways of using it. Now, if you want to go to a sleep, I mean, if you want to go to sleep or relax because you, it's your time where where you are at your destination, it's night time, then you will use your, your sleep solution. Further Danielle Ryman aromatherapy products, including Awake and Asleep, are available in the Sky Shop on this flight.